What is up guys, it's Cal, and in this video we're going to talk about class toys. So there are a good number of toys in World of Warcraft that are class specific, so only that class can purchase them. But most of them, I think all of them, maybe except one, can be used on all of your tunes. Something interesting about these class toys is that for the most part, they don't show up in your toy panel before you buy it. So you have to purchase a toy for it to actually show up. So if you open up your toy panel and see it says there's a total of 550 or 560 toys in the game, wrong. It's more like 570 or 580. Uh, that's as of recording this video at least. Now not all classes have class toys. I want to preface that. Most do, but not all. So let's get started. Let's start off with hunters. They have one toy you can get. All you need to do is come to the hunter class hall in the Broken Isles. It's the True Shot Lodge in High Mountain. Speak to Outfitter Reynolds and you can purchase the hunter's call toy for 50 gold. It will call a random animal companion to your side that represents one of the hunter aspects. It's really neat, honestly. Now, if you do not have a hunter, at least level 100 for this, Fear not, because we can do class trials. So create a new class trial that's a hunter, just immediately hearth, and you'll appear in Stormwind or Orgrimmar. Fly to your city's portal room and take the portal to Ajuna. Now from here, it depends what class you're doing it with. With a hunter, you can just fly straight to the Trusha Lodge, but if it's another class with an instance class hall, like a mage or demon hunter, then fly to Dalaran, accept the artifact quest from whatever NPC is following you, and you'll have to pursue your first artifact weapon. Once you get your artifact weapon, then you can go to your class hall to get the toy. So I'm just showing you this for some other classes in this video where this is required. But moving on. Mage. The first toy is a magical saucer. You can go to Uthlne, however you say that, in the class hall with 1000 order resources, purchase this item. But you have to complete Breaching the Tomb achievement, which is completing the Legion Fall campaign. If you have not done that, then you won't even see this item. As you see, I can't see it. So with that being said, you cannot just quickly get this with a class trial character. I mean, you might be able to complete that achievement on a class trial, but that seems like a lot of work for a character you're going to delete anyways. Next toy is the Ad Akazamzarok Spare Hat. I'm really bad with these names. So first thing you have to do is complete all of your class order advancements. So you need to finish the seventh advancement to get this toy. It doesn't matter what you pick, you just need to have them all. Uh, once you do that, you'll need to wait for the weekly reset on Tuesday or uh, Wednesday, whatever region you're in, then go to your missions map and the great Akazama Zarak will be there with a quest called Finders Keepers. Just follow that quest chain and completing most of it will award you this toy. Then we have two more toys for the mage and those are in North Rendalaron. So go to this location, remember we're in North Rendalaron this time, and talk to Endora Moorhead. She'll sell a Dalaran Initiates pin and Familiar Stone for 500 gold and 50 gold. And this can be done on a class trial. There's a North Rendalaron portal in the portal rooms. Druid. First toy is in Moonglade. Make your way here and at this location there will be Lorelei Wintersong who will sell you nature's beacon for 50 gold and yes you can get this on a class trial. This toy will teleport you to one of many random locations around Azeroth. It teleported me to Tourisfall Glades. Then the other toy is Fandral's Seed Pouch. Go to Firelands and you can do this on any difficulty. It is a chance of dropping off Major Domo Stackhelm, the second to last boss. Meaning you do have to kill all the bosses before him to actually reach him. And it's apparently a very rare drop chance, like a 0.5% chance. And this will only drop for druids. It turns you into a fire kitty. Rogue. So rogues have lots of toys. So the first one we're going to take a look at is the Suspicious Crate. So first what you want to do is get the Order Hall Advancement, The Vault. It's only on the second tier. This will give you a chance of getting these vault tickets when completing missions. Also you have a chance of getting a Marin Nogginfogger's Lucky Coin when you pickpocket enemies in Legion content. Both of these items have the same purpose. So once you have one or both of those, go to Marin Nogginfogger in your class hall and turn the item into him. He'll then tell you to pick something out of his vault. Now, if he says the text, yo, I got a real special item for you today, then that's the suspicious crate, and it will be a crate in front of him. Otherwise, you're out of luck. So the next two toys are the Barrel of Bandanas and Barrel of Eye Patches from Griftal in the class hall. You can purchase these for 50,000 coins of air each. Coins of air are pickpocketed from any pickpocketable enemy in Legion content. First, you'll probably want to get the Gleaming Lamp of Alabas 
from him, it greatly increases the coins of every pickpocket. Then head over to Suramar and just pickpocket all of the enemies around here. This is by far the best place to farm them. If I actually did the Suramar quest and got the disguise, it would probably be easier for me, so I just have to settle with stealth. Now it didn't really take that long, I know 50,000 plus 50,000, that's 100,000, might seem like a lot, but it really didn't take all that long. But eventually you'll get your 100,000 coins of air. You can get both of these toys. And then we have three more toys to talk about for rogues. We have the Worn Troll Dice. This is a rare chance of being pickpocketed from any troll or Vrykel. The best place to farm these is Scorn, which is northwest of Utgar Keep and Howling Fjord. There are Vrykel everywhere. So keep pickpocketing them, turn auto loot on, it makes it much faster, and hopefully you get your toy. You probably want to kill them after you pickpocket them since I think it's like a 10 minutes or so before their pockets replenish, but their spawn timer is less than that. Now I pickpocketed 300 Reichel, which took 30 minutes, and I got bored, so I gave up. The next toy is the Decahedral Dwarven Dice. This is pickpocketed from any humanoid or dwarves. A good place for this is New Hearthglen and Southern Dragonblight. There's lots of mobs all over the place to pickpocket for this toy. Once again, I got through about 100 before getting bored and giving up. This chance is really rare. The last toy for rogues is the Loaded Gnomish Dice. This seems to come from any humanoid and cataclysm areas. A good spot for this seems to be in the Maker's Ascent in Oldham. There's lots of humanoids around here to pickpocket. And once again, I didn't get it. You can let me know in the comments how long it took for you to get any of these dies, you know, just to give some people reading the comments hope, and I'm sure these can be gotten on class trials as well. Also, all these dies can be sold and bought on the auction house for hefty amounts of gold, so do whatever with that knowledge as you want. Priest. This first toy is the Thaumaturgist Orb. Go to Light's Hope in Eastern Plaguelands and Quartermaster Miranda Breachlock will sell it for 50 gold. The next toy is the Scarlet Confessional Book. Now this one is a little harder to get to than most of the other toys. There's an NPC that can spawn in the Dalaran sewers of either Northrend or Legion. He can spawn in both, and his name is Kravitz Loren. He'll sell it for 50 gold. Now his spawn timer seems to be about 5 to 6 hours, but when he's up, he stays up for like 30 to 50 minutes. This is the fun toy that has a friendly target to give confessions, and both these toys can be acquired on class trials. Shamans. Shamans have lots of toys too, but they're easy to get. If you have a shaman with the order hall open, then you can talk to Flamesmith Lanying to purchase the Raging Elemental Stone, Tadpole Cloud Seeder, Vulgin Serpent Totem, and Water Speaker's Totem, all for 50 gold. And if you don't have a shaman that's high enough for the order hall, then make a class trial character, head over to the Throne of Elements in Outland Nagrand, and there you'll see an NPC named Elementalist Sharvok, who will sell those items as toys for the same amount. Shamans are classes where their order hall is instanced, so you'd have to get an artifact weapon before getting the toys, and that's just too much time. Then the last shaman toy is the Lava Fountain. This is a fun one to get. So go to Puzzle Master Low in your class hall, and there's a series of puzzles, five puzzles to be specific, that you have to complete before getting this toy. So I'm just going to let the video play here, and you can follow what I did to complete all five puzzles for this toy.
Warrior. They have one toy and it's the Stormforge Vrykel Horn. First what you have to do is get the Four Honor and Glory Order Hall advancements and then every three hours a Skyhold Chest Riches will spawn in the center arena of the Order Hall. This is like the Guru Bashi Arena, it spawns at 12, 3, 6, and 9. Then this chance is a chance of dropping the toy, a trinket, and some other random items. Now finally, Demon Hunters. The first toy is a tiny set of Warglaives, which can be bought from Falara Nightsong for 1,000 order resources, but you need to complete the Legion Fall campaign first, so similar to that mage one. Can't really do this on a class child character. This toy will give you an Eldari Pepe that sits on your head. Then the last toy is the Skull of Corruption. This has a 2.5% chance of dropping off Gul'dan in every difficulty including LFR, and only drops for Demon Hunters. So how to do this in LFR is go to the Legion Dalaran and speak to Archmage time here and queue up for the betrayer's rise and it will put you in there by yourself now gul'dan and lfr does have 1740k health it's not too bad for level 120 depending on your gear level but you just keep that in mind defeat him and you have a chance of getting that toy so there you have it that's all the class specific toys a lot of which are hidden you don't actually see them in the toy panel until you get the toy there are 23 of them and as of recording this video death knights monks paladins and warlocks don't have class specific toys and as far as i know technically all these toys can be acquired on class trials that major demon hunter one which requires the legion fall campaign i don't know for sure Someone can comment in the comments below if they were able to, but that does require that achievement to get those toys. And this should be obvious anyway, since I've been mentioning it in this video, but yes, getting the toys on a class trial does give it to your account. But here's the real kicker. You can actually only use it on that class. Also, I don't know about that Skull of Corruption one with the class trial of Demon Hunter. If you can defeat Gul'dan on a 110 class trial, then more power to you. But anyways guys, that's the entire video. If you liked it, then feel free to leave a like on it. You can sub to the channel for more videos like this. And I will see you guys in the next video.